we've been really pleased with the way that the projects are performing. A lot of work goes into the design of these beach nourishment projects uh, and to see them tested right off the bat last summer and last winter with some of the hurricanes that came through in September uh, as well as some of the nor'easters that hit in January and March. Just really, really great to see the projects perform the way that they're designed to perform. The first thing that folks will realize uh, as they come to the beach this summer is that the beach is a little narrower, especially the dry sand beach. And that's really by design. When we calculate the volume of sand that needs to go on these beaches, we're calculating the volume of sand that extends all the way down to the deeper part of the profile that really ends up being sort of the, the, the foundation, if you will, of the profile that holds that slope of the beach. So with the equipment that we use to build these projects, we stack a lot of that sand up on the dry sand beach. It's cheaper and it's faster. And we use the forces of nature to move that material out into deeper water and place it the way that nature would like the profile of the beach to be configured. That sand is basically holding the foundation of the profile offshore and we use beach profile monitoring from year to year to track to make sure that all of the sand that we want in place is, is still in place. When the project was first built, that, that drop off from the top of the dune down to the dry sand beach was very dramatic. But now that nature has kind of moved that sand around in a more natural configuration, it sort of stacked that sand up against the dune. And so the drop off doesn't look quite as pronounced and the town's done a really terrific job of installing the sand fencing and the vegetation that's gone in in the off season to where they, they've really created a, a great natural looking design feature that, that will provide the, the protection that we're looking for in years to come.